Hello everyone. Um, poinsettia scouting uh, begins when the plants first arrive, just like with all your different crops, uh, whether you get in rooted or unrooted cuttings, um, you want to check the underside of the leaves to see if there are any uh, white flight eggs or immatures. And you also, if they're rooted cuttings, you want to check and see how the health of the roots are to see if there's any evidence of fungus gnat injury or pythium. You also want to look at the foliage to see if there's any evidence of bacterial leaf spot or fungal leaf spots or um, other uh, foliar diseases. But um, the main thing you want to do just is look at the different varieties to, and shipments to see if there are any white fly present. Usually it's a good idea to separate it out by color and also by ship date so you can follow the crop along and see if you have any issues with, with white fly. The predominant species of, of white fly um, that you generally see on poinsettias is Vermesia white fly, which actually isn't a single species, but it's known as Vermesia, and that's usually the white fly species that comes in on, on the poinsettia cuttings. You start picking up the poinsettias uh, just a little bit above your head or at an angle so you can see the underside of as many leaves as possible. And what you're going to do is mark whether the plant has white fly or does not have white fly. Uh, this is what's known as a presence absence form of scouting as opposed to keeping track of the numbers of white flies in their life stages. Um, that are present, which you might do if you're using chemical controls. So, uh, you, and you can see that I was rotating the plant so you could see the new and old growth of the leaves because the uh, white fly adults are more likely to be on the young tender growth and the older empty pupae and pupae and older immatures are going to be on the older leaves. And so by looking on the underside of the leaves, that's where you know the Bemisia white flies are and that will tell you whether the plant has white flies or not. This scouting method was developed by uh, Graham Murphy, uh, who worked for over 30 years with the Ontario growers who have been using extensive biological controls because they have much fewer options for uh, pesticides than we do in the U.S. And what he found was that if fewer than 20% of the plants were infested by mid-September, that he felt that the growers could continue using biological control agents, but just keep scouting. And if there are pockets of, or areas with higher infestation, then they may have to be uh, dealt with. Scout 5% of the crop every time uh, picking up 15 to 20 plants per block for at least 50% of the blocks in your particular greenhouse. Uh, plants with high white fly numbers should also be noted and also the variety. To give you an example, if you have sampled 20 plants for the block or bench area and five hit white flies, you record that data and that will help you determine the percentage of plants that have white flies in that particular area. You can add up the number of infested plants and divide this by the total number of plants you sampled to get the percentage infested plants. Um, and when you're scouting, it's helpful to scout by each variety uh, that you're growing.
the Wi-Fi's are, 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 as you know, if you're using um, sticky cards, um, they're more attracted to yellow. So they're going to be more attracted to the varieties that have a lighter colored foliage. So they're going to be more of an issue on your um, whites and your pinks and your marbles and those type of varieties because they have lighter foliage than the dark-leafed uh, prestige varieties. Which varieties are affected? Is it just the light colored uh, whites and pinks and so that you have more of a spot uh, area with white flies? Or are you seeing white flies on your, your main red uh, varieties? Um, if it's affecting your dark leaf red varieties, that may indicate that it's the problem is more, more widespread because it usually starts with the uh, lighter colored foliage. The, the second question to ask yourself is, when you're seeing white flies is, do you see evidence of the biological control agents working? Uh, for example, with the Bamesia white fly, are the pupae and nymphs parasitized or host fed upon so that they look dried and discolored? Uh, when Eremoceros uh, parasitizes the Bamesia white fly, the pupae kind of looks yellow or tannish. Um, with Incarcia, it will look a little bit more black and yellowish in color. Are you seeing white flies on the new growth or are you seeing white flies also in the older growth? Um, if you see it in the new young growth, uh, that indicates that you most likely have adults present. So that could be a red flag. Whereas if you're seeing it on the older growth, it could be that they um, are more of a spot issue and that they may have come in that way. Um, if you're seeing adults, that gives you an idea that they're reproducing. Another question to ask yourself, do most plants have at least one densely uh, colonized or infested leaf? Or are there just one or two adults or pupae uh, here and there on each plant? Um, if you're just seeing one or two adults for a plant or one or two pupae, that means you have uh, less of, a, of an issue. If more than 20% of your poinsettias are infested, this is generally thought to be an issue uh, early on, particularly by mid-September. And if you have pockets where you have high numbers of plants and it's a major variety you grow and it's widespread, uh, then it very well may be time to switch to uh, using uh, selective uh, chemical control agents. So. Uh, you just want to keep scouting and monitoring and looking for the uh, primarily the Bamesia white fly uh, in your poinsettia crop so you can deal with it in the appropriate manner. Good luck.